Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Good morning and welcome back to Betty Boss You saying it? The one and only YouTube channel! Zoe, can I ask you something this morning? Yeah <laughs> Can I ask you what you're doing? I'm dying my eyebrows, what I've got left of them. You ought to see this, guys. You have got to see this. Just a minute. How's it going there, then, Zoe? I'm dying my eyebrows. You look like bloody Coco the Clown. Then I'm, um, I'm going to dye my hair. That's why I've got this mud Come on, show everybody. Is that what colour they are? You are kidding me. <laughs> are you, I'm dying now. Are you quite... serious? That's what's going on. Yeah. Then I'm going to dye my hair. Oh, my God. What colour are we having now? The same. The same? Can't we have purple or something? Nah. Red. Oh. Can we have red? Yeah, I can have red. You know, we're at last time we used red in uh, Adria. Oh, yeah. You got it everywhere, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, and I got dye on the cupboard. Yeah, you got it and everywhere. You get it off. You've got it everywhere, love. So, yeah, I can do red. Going you know? well, that, love. Going well. The things you have to do to be beautiful, darling. I know. You see, I'm just naturally beautiful. I don't have to do anything like this. <laughs> oh, he's chewing me brush and everything. Oh, bro, stop chewing the brush. He's into everything this morning. Full of it. Come here. All right, I'm going to take this one here out. Aren't we, buddy? I'm going to take this one here out because he's full of energy this morning, even though he's been running. Aren't we? Yeah. Let's go and risk it, kid. Just love this view. You know, as you come into Scarborough here, and you come down by the side of Alpamere, love it. And so do dogs, this is a problem. They pull you down this bloody path, which is no good when it's wet. But we've just got one doggy today, haven't we? One doggy today. We've got our body this morning. I'm going to take him down to beach, let him have a little bit of a run on his own. Got some spray, so we're good. So he's dying in air in van. So um and then we've got a vet's appointment at two o'clock, so we'll have to leave about one o'clock and see what the outcome of that is. But it's a nice morning. Um wind's a bit cold, but it's blue sky and the sun's out. Yay! Brilliant. Just gonna show you the explosion of dogs on the beach now. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 12, 13, 14. I can count 18 dogs there. It's just Bodie on his own this morning. Isn't it, It's a bit strange for him. He don't know who he's getting ball to. <laughs> it's only it's Millie, isn't it? And he's like, do I give it to you? I don't want to give it to you because he doesn't normally. Can I have it now? No, still can't have it. He's a bit mixed up, bless him. He's like, where's Millie? Where's Millie? You ready? You ready? You ready? Good boy. Yeah, we made the decision to leave Millie back in Bam. She's been for a run this morning with Zoe anyway, so she's been exercised. But uh, because it's a Friday and it's warm, I'm saying to Zoe there'll be a lot of dogs down at beach and I'm right there. There are about 20 dogs on beach just in this little bit alone. So it's just hard on my own to keep control of two. Well, I can control two, but you know what I'm saying? Um, when I've got Millie, Bodie tends to go further afield because he starts rounding up as he does because he's a sheepdog intake. So he goes further out. So uh, without Millie being here, he's a lot closer to me. So it's more control over him. I mean, he has good recall anyway, it comes straight back to me, but uh, it's just easier, I think, for the time being until uh, things calm down, especially being weekend, and then we'll probably bring Millie on later on. Guys, hi guys. I can't get in because of dogs. <laughs> oh no, it's cut you out. Hi guys, it's, um, it's Bertie, Bertie Bussy here. Uh, just, ah, dog's biting me. Yeah, we just got back from Vets, haven't we? Yeah. So Vets had another look at it. Uh, the infection's cleared up, which is good news. 
Uh, and he's booked in on Monday morning at half past eight for the day. Uh, he'll have to be put to sleep and they're going to stitch it up. Uh, they've said uh, it's the best way to do it because it is an open wound. Um, and then they can do it properly because he wriggles too much, uh, Bruce. So um, they said they need to put him to sleep so they can shave all his fur off, bless him. Uh, and they can properly clean the wound out and stitch it up properly. And then we shouldn't have any problems after that. So, uh, yeah, so he's booked in on Monday. So uh, we're still here at Alpamere again now, uh, which is no hardship, is it? End of day. It's Prosecco night, isn't it? £13 tonight for a bottle of Prosecco. Yeah, that's all she's bothered name, about. That's all she's bothered about, um, isn't it? Uh, they do a nice kebab in there, and there's uh, it's a little flight, and there's 30% off. Whoa. So, cheap day for you tonight. <laughs> no, what a cheap day it is, Lloyd. Sorry. He's going out on my own, as I did the other day. It's half price when I go out on my own, Zoe. No, because... Because I only pay for myself, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's a cheap date. Yeah, but... Just me taking Millie out is no, a cheap date. Millie no. could be my date. She'll just drink water. It, and, and I'm sorted, Zoe. You, you don't have to worry about me. Don't be, loaded, don't you be worrying well, about me, Zoe, at all. Don't, don't, no, don't you feel bad. I'll, I'll be okay. No, what I'm trying to say is when you go out on your own, you'll drink twice as much. Cause you, Even cause better. Run. Absolutely even even better and so I think that's a, a that's a that's a win-win situation for me <laughs> I actually think so anyway darling it's nice being knowing you you enjoy yourself and uh, I'll I'll be okay <coughs> don't worry about it right <coughs> looks like she's coming <laughs> yeah and look at my hair I've done my hair oh you've done your hair look at your eyebrows let's have a look oh your eyebrows look better mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear so uh, yeah and uh, that's the new so far Look, who's good at pub? Who's good at pub? Yes, yeah, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Who's got pub? Who's got pub, Dad? <laughs> you want to go to pub? Do ya? You want to go to pub? Do ya? Yeah, Dad. This is I've got pub. We at. <laughs> Morning guys, I'm just out with my three dogs. Um, I've got Bruce on a really long line. Thank you for Victoria for that, for giving me it. I think it's really good. I'm doing some good training with Bruce at the minute. I'll just show you what I'm doing with it. Oh, it's windy here. Wow! <laughs> Look, I've got this uh, long leash. Just playing with body and Billy at the same time. And, uh, training Bruce on the recall. Bruce! Where are you? He's a good boy. Sit. Down. He's a good boy. A good boy. Oh, look at Zoe training Bruce. She does spend a lot of time with him. She's got him on a really long lead now, so he can't run off. I'm not saying he'd run off, but she's just got more control over him, especially with what's happened recently. She just wants that control so she can pull him back. But he's so good. Look at him sitting there. Look at him. Rewards him with treats. And sit. Oh, look at that. And down. Well done, Zoe. <laughs> he follows her everywhere. Look at him. Oh, he's walking with her. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Go on, Zoe, run. Run, Zoe, run. Oh, no, he's round it again. No, no, oh, God. Go on, Zoe, run round that. Go on, Zoe. Oh, he's, no, he's round it again, Zoe. No, oh, no. Oh, God, no. What's happened? Oh, no. They've got news on here in pub. 
and I'll tell you somewhere, we don't watch TV. Um, and if we do, very rarely, but if we do watch TV, we'll watch Netflix or something like that, but not very often. But TV's on here, and this is why I don't watch news. It's like, God, it's just so doom and gloom, isn't it? It's like just all death and destruction and end at world stuff, isn't it? It's like there's nothing good on news, is there, at all, around the world, with stuff that's going on. I think, bye, I just think, God, um, that was Tracy, by the way. Hi, Tracy, a subscriber of ours. Uh, she was right, never come and say hello to us. Well, me, obviously, you know, because obviously I'm the main one behind Virgie Bus, but, you know, uh, I can only understand that, so, you know, it's, it's not a problem, you know. Yeah, hi, Tracy. Really, really nice to meet you. Lovely motor room, by the way. She's got lovely crank here. Yeah, it's all just all doom and gloom, isn't it? Bloody news. Bloody all sorts going on at the minute. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I don't watch it. Focus on me. I think it's just you on bloody because, because, um, oh, she, oh, she's here, look. She's like a parrot on my shoulder. Do you know what I mean? She, like, sticks her head round like a, like a, I'm like a pirate with a parrot on my shoulder. Give me a bloody camera. Whoa, with you wanting a camera. Bertie Bus, because of me, not because of you. Well, trying to get your shot here, Zoe. Subscribers. <laughs> I don't know what to say here, John. Have you back? <laughs> she's been camera and she don't know what she's saying. Yeah, you, you go on, carry on. You're doing a good, doing a good job there. <laughs> Do you know? Was that the belt then? Yeah. Don't you worry, Zoe. I'm back in control again of the situation. Don't you don't have to thank me, love. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. You drink your wine. You sit there, be quiet, and drink your wine. Uh, I'm just looks massive here, doesn't it, on the screen? I wish it was like that, really. It's bigger than me, babe. I don't know what to say to that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, the uh, last uh, vlog we did, which was... What were it called, that one? We split up. Wow, I've had to delete and block about 10 people, guys, because complaining that I'm using clickbait. And it's, it's a difficult one, this one. I did say we split up, as in we split up and went our own ways. So as clickbait, clickbait to me is something that's not true. It was true, it was a tongue-in-cheek joke that we'd split up, as you've seen the vlog, and gone our separate ways. But wow, like we came under a bit of criticism for that one. But the, the problem is with clickbait, it's, um, uh, we do the vlog and we never know what to call the vlog. So we'll film all the vlog and then we have to like think of the thumbnail and then we have to think of the title. But the thing is, if we if we put on our, our videos, uh, oh, we had a, a, a nice day in sunny Scarborough, we wouldn't get any views, guys. Nobody clicks on it. So you have to put something edgy on your title to get people to actually watch your video. So it's, it is a difficult one, uh, and we do and try and pick something out of the vlog that we've done. We never know what we're going to call it until we've done the vlog, and I've edited it all, and then I'll say what we're calling this vlog, Zoe. And Zoe will come up with a name, and, and she comes up with a short, catchy title that gets people to click on it. So uh, I'm not going to be uh, feel bad about that at all, uh, the clickbait. I don't think our clickbait's that bad at all, to be honest. They're just tongue-in-cheek titles. I like emergency vet, the one before. It was an emergency vet, guys. It was real. As you know, if you watch the vlog, you know it was real. So it was an emergency vet, and that's that's what I put on. The dog attack. It was a dog attack. So I don't get what, where people are coming from saying it's clickbait and, and they unsubscribe from anybody that uses clickbait. And I just went, oh, buy then. I don't give a bugger, really. You know, if you, you can't, if, that, if that's the only thing that puts you off our vlogs, then, you know, we don't want you on this channel anyway, guys. So it don't bother me that we'll just block and delete anybody that, that gives us negative comments. But in a situation I just don't think they were that bad if I'm honest. No, no. Give us your opinion on that guys in your comments about the titles that we, we do use because we value your feedback. We do want to make it edgy to make it worthwhile, you know, people to click on and say, Oh, what's all this about? To get more people to view his channel, obviously, to get more subscribers, to get the view time up, because obviously we get paid from YouTube. Not a lot, but we do get a bit of money, and it, it pays our wages. We tried it. What was that place in uh, Spain? Carbonara. Carbonara. Yeah. yeah, we tried it. Had a beautiful day. Done that well, 
do. They never do. I think it's because of the title. You tend to put where you are, and people just don't click on it. You think you put something edgy on, like it's some disaster or something, or or or, or a kind of a bit of an open-ended thing. People click on it, don't they? So anyway, we've often on about this, but yeah, put in your comments, guys, what you think about that. Not a lot of people agree with the titles that we are using, but. Um, these people don't have a YouTube channel neither, nor do you know how hard it is to do a YouTube channel in the first place. And it is difficult, and it is difficult to get people to click on your videos, and obviously we're trying to earn a, a living out of this. We haven't got there yet, but we are trying hard to boost this channel, and, and this does seem to pay off really, doesn't it? Uh, using short, catchy titles is, is paying off, so... It's our, it's our wage at the end of the day, you know, the, the vlog is a vlog and we do, like I say, we do pick something out of the vlog and put it in the title, so it's not it's not a lie, it's just tongue in cheek stuff, but then the emergency bet were real. Yeah, it was. It's all real stuff, it's all you know, real. it's not real. So, uh, a, a title like that, unless it's actually happened. That's right, that's right. Anyway, like I said, put in your comments, guys, what you think. We've got some shout outs for buyers of coffees. And we have got, I'll read this out, Tracy and Dawn and our new addition, Little Alfie Moon, our 11 month old Jackapoo. Jack <laughs> What's a Jackapoo? It's a, a Jack Russell. Those two different sized dogs. No, because you can get a smaller poodle. Yeah. yeah. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for buying your coffee, guys. Thank you so much. And also, somebody else. Um, Tony Sims. Thank you so much, Tony, Thank you, for buying your coffee. Sims. We're going to put this money towards as vet as well tomorrow, which is quite a lot of money. So, we really, really do appreciate that, guys. Um, Thank you so, so much. It does help with his vet bills, which were a bit unexpected, weren't they? But obviously, the bills comes first. Uh, and we do uh, really, really appreciate everything that we get, as we've said before. So, thank you so, so much. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. You sure? You sure? Okay. She's production and director, by the way, for Bertie Bus. <laughs> what do you love? Yeah. You got to run it past me first, don't you? And the manager. Listen, I often run past you, love. You're too slow. <laughs> when I get running, I'll run past you. Oh, Wait, see me go. Wait while well, you see me go. Hey, I'll leave you standing. Ah. You going out running. I'm just going to leave you standing, Joy. People want to see you go out running, Joy. Oh, well, well, they won't even see me, I'll be that fast. I'll be like a blur. You won't even know it's me. Swear. You'll be that fast. You'll be getting a speeding ticket by a hundred Yeah, see, well, I'm glad you're coming around to my way of thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I've just set my alarm clock for tomorrow. Seven o'clock clock. Oh, mind you, you never go up for work early anyway, did you? You never used to go at well, 10 even though you didn't Do you know, <laughs> I bring you out and I just get, just get abused, I I'm don't. saying it as it is, John. Just get abused, that's all I You used to get up at 10 anyway when you got a full-time job. You just used to work later. And? No, I'm just I'm not a morning person. I can't I know, help it. <laughs> anyway, so... Thanks for coming. You hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Enjoyed your day. <laughs> yeah. Don't ring me, I'll ring you. Don't okay. Worry, I won't ring you. Yeah. Sorry. Your tags are hanging out from your clothes that you've not paid for yet. <laughs> you you're taking back tomorrow. You need to cover that up though. <laughs> you take them back to Primark tomorrow, love. Yeah. <laughs> your day, love. Yeah. Yeah. I'll not give you my number, okay? Okay, love, thanks. Nice knowing you. Bye. Bye then, bye. Wow, look at the sky tonight. Full moon. Lighting all clouds up. Wow, love that. That's about 30, look. How good is that? Like a little cuddly teddy bear you are. <laughs> oh, you're fluffy, aren't you?
Thanks for watching guys. It's only a short vlog this one. It's just a bit of an update as to what we've been up to. Um, we're, like I said, we're at best tomorrow. So we'll see how that one goes. We are halfway through doing another funny dog clip guys. So uh, please stay tuned for this one. I'm sure this one will be out uh, very soon. We've been at it most of the day today, aren't we? Doing this clip. Mm, yeah. So we've still got quite a bit more to do. So uh, yeah, we think it's going to be okay. So uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, to doing that one. Uh, anything else you want to say, darling? Night. <laughs> <laughs> She's tired. Management's tired. Manage management and directors tired. Less, aren't you? Bless you. Mm. Look at you. So tired. Chicken, 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 chicken chops. And a cute little button nose. Look at that cute little button nose there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Bruce has come to save you. Whoa, whoa, it's all kicking off here. All kicking off. You were asleep a minute ago. You must have been the button nose. <laughs> so take care, guys, and we'll boys here. Look, Bruce is here. Oh, you've got a long day tomorrow, kid. Oh, you're going to come back with your cone on your head. <laughs> He's going to love that, isn't he? Oh. So, uh, anyway, we'll catch you later, guys, uh, on our uh, next vlog. Bye. Bye.